This is Story Recapped. Today I'm going to explain an action adventure and drama film called Huntsman Winter's War. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. After Snow White defeated the evil Queen Ravenna, she took her rightful place on the throne. However, there's still an untold story about the evil queen. Before her downfall, Ravenna flirtatiously plays chess with her king. The king uses his king piece to take her pawn, but this allows Ravenna's queen to defeat him. Suddenly, the king starts choking while his chess piece bleeds out. As the king dies, Ravenna turns to her golden mirror. After the king's death, Ravenna takes over the kingdom with her sister Freya at her side. During the king's funeral, Ravenna notices Freya exchanging glances with a nobleman named Andrew. One night, Ravenna questions Freya's relationship and Freya assures her that they're in love. When Ravenna easily defeats Freya in chess, she advises her sister to learn from defeat since the day will come when her magic awakens. Freya doesn't believe she'd be like her sister, but Ravenna reminds her that all the women in their bloodline gain power. Ravenna then looks at her intently and sees that she's pregnant, much to Freya's surprise. Andrew is already engaged, but Freya insists that he doesn't love his fiancée. Still, Ravenna knows his engagement cannot be broken, but Freya stresses that she doesn't know everything. Months later, Freya has given birth. While carrying her baby, she receives a letter from Andrew promising to elope with Freya and their daughter. Freya happily heads out to their rendezvous, but soon finds out her baby's room on fire. She rushes to save her child, but she's too late. Andrew wrestles out of the guard's grasp and tells Freya that he had no choice. Her rage and grief unlock Freya's power and she turns Andrew into ice that shatters on the floor. Soon, Freya leaves to find her own kingdom in the north. To replace her child, she raises an army that takes children from their villages. During a raid, a boy named Eric and a girl named Sarah are taken. Freya greets the children and promises that they will never know suffering while under her wing. When she finds a boy crying, she asks if he misses his parents. The boy, Tull, admits that he does. So Freya lectures him that love is a lie. She tells the children not to let love make them frail and declares that love is a sin under her kingdom. The children are then trained to become huntsmen. The children struggle to train at first but they become more skilled over the years. Freya watches over them through her ice owl's eyes and becomes curious about her best warriors Eric and Sarah. Years later Eric skillfully wields an axe while Sarah confidently declares that she never misses her bow and arrow. Tull watches over as the new children are hurried out of their carriages. Eric spots a girl hiding under a sack, frightened by the Ice Queen. Sarah listens as Eric encourages the child and eases her fears. One day, Sarah, Eric, and Tull return after a war and approach Freya, who commend them for their victory. That evening, Eric traverses around the castle when Sarah holds a knife to his throat. Eric easily pins her to the wall and they kiss. The two continue their passionate evening and Sarah gives Eric a necklace, explaining that she's marrying him. However, Eric knows Freya will discover their romance. Sarah tells him to meet her in the courtyard by day to escape. She doesn't care if they get caught, as long as they're free. Eric promises his life to her and they kiss, not knowing that Freya's owl is watching. Eric and Sarah meet at dawn, but the other huntsmen gather around them. Freya accuses them of betrayal, but Eric argues that they've fought her wars, so they've earned to be free. Freya then challenges them to fight their comrades, and if they win, she'll free them. Eric and Sarah battle their fellow huntsmen and prove themselves the best warriors. However, Tull strikes Sarah, allowing the others to subdue her. Eric suffers the same fate as he's outnumbered. Seeing him beaten, Sarah knocks down her opponents while Eric is empowered to do the same. Unwilling to let them win, Freya conjures an ice wall between Eric and Sarah. From the ice wall, Eric watches Tull stab Sarah. Eric punches the wall but barely makes a crack on it. He falls to his knees upon seeing Sarah die. A warrior knocks out Eric and they throw him into the river. Years later, Eric becomes an ally to Snow White and defeats Ravenna. Seven years after the evil queen's defeat, Snow White's husband King William finds Eric and admits he paid the dwarves Nyon and Griff to learn his whereabouts. William tells Eric that Ravenna's golden mirror has disappeared. They believe that its magic died with Ravenna, but weeks before it disappeared, it affected Snow White. Snow White ordered her knights to take the mirror to the sanctuary, but the knights never returned. William tells him that Snow White wants Eric to find it and contain its wickedness in the sanctuary since he's their best tracker. Eric grabs his axe then throws it in the air, hitting an ice owl that was watching them. Eric tells William to move his forces to the northern border since Freya now knows about the missing mirror. Eric then heads off to find the mirror with Nyon and Griff. 
Meanwhile, Tull reports to Freya that the last stronghold in the north has fallen. Therefore, she commands the entire northern lands. However, Freya declares that there is more land to conquer. Tull advises her against battling Snow White's army, but Freya reveals that Eric is alive. She intends to take Ravenna's mirror and use it to claim every child as she did for them. On the road, Griff insults Eric's tracking ability since they already know the mirror was heading north. Eric corrects him that the knights went west to the woods to set up camp first. They reach a clearing and find bodies of Snow White's knights. Eric deduces that the knights attacked each other. Eric tracks down the knight that took the mirror away and finds an arrow that doesn't belong to them. Whoever killed that knight has the mirror. While the trio dines at a nearby bar, a group enters and approaches them. When the men insult them, Nyon challenges them and declares that Eric is a huntsman. The group then reveals that they're all huntsmen. Eric battles them and takes out a few but gets outnumbered and thrown into the muddy rain. The huntsmen insult him for betraying Freya for a spineless woman. The comet enrages Eric but he still gets beaten. Before making the finishing blow, an arrow pierces his attacker's hand. A hooded figure swiftly defeats the rest, forcing them to retreat. The figure removes her hood and reveals that she's Sarah, alive and angry. Eric is stunned to see her, allowing Sarah to knock him out. When he wakes up, Eric finds himself and the dwarves tied up while Sarah sharpens her blade. Upon learning that Eric has told people that she's dead, Sarah accuses him of telling the story to gain sympathy. However, Eric insists that he saw her die. Sarah reminds him that he promised his life to her, then accuses him of abandoning her. On the day of their supposed escape, Sarah saw through the wall that Eric left without her. Eric insists that he saw Tull kill her, but she doesn't believe him. She recounts that Freya locked her in the dungeon for seven years, and when she escaped, she swore to take revenge on him. Eric steals her knife, frees his hands, and knocks her down, but she reveals another knife to his throat. Still, he tells her that he'd be grateful if her face is the last thing he sees. Instead, she kicks him on the crotch. In the morning, Sarah learns about the mirror and decides to stop Freya. Sarah declares that she'll help get the mirror to the sanctuary, and afterward, she and Eric will part forever. Sarah deduces that the thieves would try to sell the mirror. Eric points out that the thieves' arrows had diamonds, so he doubts they needed money. Eric tries to convince her that Freya deceived them with the ice wall. Sarah refuses to believe so because she has decided that love always ends in betrayal. Suddenly, Nyon stops them and triggers a trap that they could have stepped on. However, Griff triggers another trap that catches all of them. Eric enjoys being physically close to Sarah, but she rejects his advances. A female dwarf named Bromwyn emerges, happy to see them caught in her trap. Eric offers a diamond in the arrow for their freedom, but Bromwyn calls on Dorina to keep watch while she frees them. After freeing them, Dorina offers Nyon some water which he accepts. However, Griff elbows him, leading Nyon to insult the female dwarf. Happy with her diamond, Bromwyn agrees on the truce and tells Eric that the arrow belonged to goblins. She directs them to the forest on the northwest side of the sanctuary to find them. Bromwyn wants them to take her and Dorina there so they can steal the goblin's treasure. Eric agrees, much to Griff and Nyon's displeasure. While rowing down the river, Nyon apologizes to Dorina for being rude, and the two begin to share a connection. Meanwhile, Eric teases Sarah that Bromwyn is his type, but she pretends not to care. Still, she can't help but smile at his charms. They soon reach a forest where Bromwyn finds a ruby. As they walk further, they find goblin bodies in golden armor. They cross a bridge over a river of molten gold and finally find the golden mirror. Like Snow White's army, the goblins killed each other because of it. Eric warns his group not to look at the mirror to avoid its magic. Suddenly, a large goblin stands in their way and the group does their best not to flinch. The goblin circles around the group and detects the ruby that Brumman stole, forcing Eric and Sarah to take action. While they battle the goblin, the dwarves cover the mirror and take it away. The goblin knocks Eric down, but Sarah throws daggers at it, allowing Eric to grab it by the horns and bring it down. After killing the goblin, Sarah notices that Eric is still wearing her necklace. This convinces her about his love, but more goblins arrive, so they run. The goblins chase them after and capture Sarah. Eric frees her and holds the goblins off while she crosses the bridge. However, Eric drops the bridge to prevent the goblins from chasing them. Sarah refuses to leave, so she recovers an old arrow from the dead goblins and lights it on fire. She sends the fire at the goblins, and the fire spreads. When she doesn't see Eric, she and the group mourn for him. Suddenly, Eric climbs out of the cliff and smiles when he sees Sarah mourning for him. They set up camp after deciding to continue their journey in the morning. That evening, Eric asks Sarah what he needs to do to earn her trust back, but Sarah stresses that she has decided not to love him. Eric refuses to let her go, so Sarah claims that the woman he loves is dead. She insists that she has done terrible things, and Eric confesses the same and believes they are still worthy of each other. Driven by passion, 
Sarah kisses him and they spend the night together. In the morning, the wind partially removes the mirror's cover, allowing it to tempt Eric. Sarah wakes up and snaps him out of his trance. Suddenly, Eric doubts if Sarah has been telling the truth and urges her to kill him if she hasn't. The forest starts to freeze, waking the others before Freya's army arrives. Sarah meets her fellow huntsman and Queen Freya, who reveals that Sarah is still her warrior. She sends Sarah to find Eric, knowing that he would lead her to the mirror. When the dwarves defy her, Freya freezes Dorina and Nyon, then blocks Eric's attacks. Freya mocks him for sparing Sarah, even though he knew that she'd betray him. Still, Eric believes that love will endure. To prove him wrong, Freya orders Sarah to kill him. Sarah quickly takes an arrow and shoots Eric, turning away even before he falls. Satisfied, Freya leads her army back to her kingdom. Once they're away, Roman and Griff pull the arrow out of Eric's body. Eric wakes up and reveals that Sarah shot his necklace instead. Knowing that she never misses, Eric is convinced that Sarah still loves him. Freya and her army return to her kingdom with the frozen Nyon and Dorina in tow. In her sanctum, Freya faces the golden mirror where she hears Ravenna's voice. Ravenna urges her to say the words, so Freya says mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all. The mirror oozes golden liquid that forms into a resurrected Ravenna. Freya backs away in fear, stunned that her sister is alive. Ravenna explains that she left her body and went to the mirror after being defeated. Ravenna intends to use Freya's army to reclaim her kingdom and kill Snow White. That evening, Freya questions her sister for commanding her army without her knowledge. Ravenna excuses that she assumed she'd agree, but Freya insists that she's in her kingdom. Ravenna assures her that she only intends to rule outside Freya's kingdom. She then reminds Freya that she made her who she is now. In the morning, Griff and Brahman walk amongst children who are shuffled into the castle. A soldier notices them and they're taken away. Brahman and Griff knock out the soldier who took them and hide him in a chest. Meanwhile, Eric climbs a cliff along the steeple and leaps. He stumbles on the roofs until he stops his fall with his axe. Inside, Freya addresses her army, reluctantly ordering them to fight Ravenna's war. She hesitates, realizing that she saved her children for a purpose. Unbeknownst to her, Eric has infiltrated her castle and aims a crossbow at her. Eric pulls the trigger, but Ravenna catches the arrow. Eric freezes upon seeing Ravenna, who throws the arrow back at him. Knowing her cover is blown, Sarah attacks Freya, but she easily blocks her with ice. While guards apprehend them, Freya wonders why Sarah betrayed her and Ravenna answers that it's because they're in love. Ravenna asks Freya to judge Eric and Sarah, so she mournfully decides to execute them. As they're taken to face the queen, the other huntsmen accuse Eric and Sarah of treachery. Eric contends that love doesn't weaken them but strengthens them instead. He faces Tull and asks if they don't love each other as brothers and sisters. Still, Tull pulls him to Freya. Accepting her fate, Sarah calms Eric and holds his hand. They kneel together and Eric apologizes, but Sarah has resolved to be together even in death. Tull raises his sword to execute them but breaks their chains instead. Many of the huntsmen declare that they stand with them as well. Angered, Ravenna oozes black liquid that forms into sharp tendrils around her. She starts killing them despite Freya begging her to stop. Seeing her children hurt, Freya raises a wall of ice to block Ravenna. Eric urges the others to take the mirror so they climb the wall. Ravenna is disappointed that Freya remains weak after she made her strong. Freya wonders how Ravenna made her strong, but she doesn't answer. Freya points out that she summoned her from the mirror, so Ravenna is bound to her. She touches Ravenna and sees that Ravenna once learned that her daughter would grow more beautiful than her. To prevent this, Ravenna enchanted Andrew into killing their daughter. Freya pulls away in grief that her own sister killed her daughter, but Ravenna stresses that it made her stronger and stabs Freya. With her weakened, the ice wall breaks. Ravenna attacks the huntsmen, but Freya desperately defends them. Eric battles Ravenna while Sarah climbs to the top. Sarah drops down on Ravenna, but she turns herself into golden ravens to evade her. She then slams Sarah to the ground. Suddenly, Freya embraces Ravenna and turns her into ice. Ravenna impels her through the stomach to stop her. Ravenna sarcastically apologizes for killing Freya's daughter to trigger her power but berates her sister for wasting her power on cheap sentiments. Seeing Eric stand, Ravenna asks if he still believes that love conquers all. He clarifies that it will at least conquer her. Eric evades her attacks and throws her against the wall, but Ravenna continues to counterattack. Freya turns the floor into ice that reaches the mirror, allowing Eric to break it with his axe. Ravenna stabs Eric as she watches the mirror break. The mirror shatters and Ravenna dies along with it. Freya looks back and sees a vision of her younger self holding her daughter. She then watches Sarah and Eric hold each other until she passes away. Everyone turned into ice comes back to life including Dorina and Nyon. The children are free to return to their villages along with the huntsmen. Realizing that they're all free, Eric and Sarah kiss. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.